Hello. In this video, I'm going to revisit the idea of relative reactivity towards nucleophilic attack. In an earlier video, uh, in talking about the interconversion between the different carboxylic acid derivatives, uh, I had established this uh, relative reactivity with acid chlorides at the most reactive position, followed by anhydrides, followed by carboxylic acids and esters, followed by amides, followed by nitriles, followed by the carboxylate anion. And for this video and the rest of this series, where well, we're going to talk about the reaction with uh, hydride or hydrogen and carbon nucleophiles, it's important to be able to identify where in this sequence ketone and the aldehyde belong. <clears throat> All right? Because if we can identify where ketones and aldehydes belong, we can use you know we can use the, the property that we talked about before in the context of interconversion that conversions from more reactive to carboxylic acid derivatives to less are usually easier than, than the other way around. <clears throat> and so things that are more reactive than aldehydes and ketones are going to be easy to convert into aldehydes and ketones. Uh, and things that are less reactive than aldehydes and ketones are going to be hard to convert into aldehydes and ketones. And so where I want to, where, where we're going to end up putting the aldehyde and the ketone uh, has to do with whether, you know, what the identity of these groups are. So we, we ordered, and, and in the previous video, I did some explaining about the identities of the functional groups. Um, the alkyl groups on the ketone are electron donating by induction, in, indication, what is that? <clears throat> by induction. Right. And so R is a weak activator. Hydrogen is neither electron donating nor withdrawing. All of the hydrogen, all of the, the electron density that hydrogen has is already tied up in the carbon hydrogen bond. So if you're looking at the, for a zero point between electron donating and electron withdrawing, hydrogen is that zero point. Right? <clears throat> but alkyl groups are weakly electron donating by induction, so weak activator in electrophilic aromatic substitutions. So we should probably put these compounds in terms of their re reactivity, but, you know, relative to the other sorts of activators and deactivators. Uh, and so that means right, chlorine as most, or the, the acid chloride is most reactive, is most reactive because it has an electron withdrawing group on it. All of the other substituents are electron donating groups. And so we're going to put the aldehyde, ooh, we're going to put the aldehyde as just a little bit less reactive than the acid chloride, right? And then <clears throat> we are going to put the ketone next uh, because the ketone is electron donating by induction. It's a weak activator. You know, the, the acyl group, or sorry, the, the, the ester group in the anhydride is actually a moderate activator. And so the and hydride should be a little bit less reactive than the ketone. So here comes the ketone. And I need another one of these things. I'm actually, uh, for a number of reasons, it makes it hard to compare ketones and aldehydes. I'm actually going to make the ketone about the same reactivity as the anhydride. Um, but generally, it's hard to convert anhydrides into aldehydes and ketones, it's easy to convert carbox or the acid chlorides into aldehydes and ketones. Okay, so 
In the next several videos, we're going to be talking about the conversion of acid chlorides into aldehydes and ketones. Uh, and the focus there is going to be whether we're using a reactive reducing agent or, or, or alkylating agent or a selective one. And then we'll talk about some other consequences of those types of reactions on the other uh, carboxylic acid derivatives. And then there are going to be a handful of ways down at the ester amide nitrile realm where we can use electrophilic reducing agents and, and other interesting approaches to stop at the aldehyde and ketone. So, you know, and, and amides and nitriles happen to just be different anyway. All right. So this uh, concludes my video here on adding uh, aldehydes and ketones into the relative reactivity. Uh, they are less reactive then acid chlorides but tend to be more reactive towards nucleophiles than most other carboxylic acid derivatives. So, thank you for watching.